Hi, I'm Allie Cook for Dentistry Today, coming to you once again from the floor of the Chicago Midwinter Meeting. Right now, I'm at the Axis Cybron Endo booth, where I'm joined by Mr. Stephen Senia, who is Director of New Product Development and Clinical Affairs. Stephen, what product do you have to tell us about today? Well, Allie, today we're going to talk about Endovac. And Endovac is an endodontic irrigation system that allows one to, to uh, flow copious amounts of irrigation through the root canal system. Now we know from science that the cleaning and shaping process only goes so far when it comes to cleaning the canal. So what, it, what Endovac does is it takes it beyond the cleaning and shaping process and actually irrigates. You know, we found it, it'll do up to 300 times a minute. So we'll, we'll circulate that fluid 300 times per minute. And what that does is it takes the debris remaining from the cleaning and shaping process as well as the, uh, the parts of the canal that the, uh, the root canal instruments simply can't touch. Can you show us the major components of Endovac? Sure, there are three major components of Endovac. The first one is the master delivery tip, and that's hooked up to an ordinary syringe. Now, typically in the syringe, you're looking at um, putting uh, bleach, sodium hypochlorite, or, uh, or EDTA in. Now, the interesting thing about the master delivery tip is that it has this hood on it, and this hood allows it to suction any excess irrigant. So what happens, instead of having two hands, you have one hand that can do both the suction as well as the delivery. Then what happens in the extra suction, that goes into your regular office high-back system. Now, the second major component is the master delivery tip. That's the blue tip at the end of this handpiece. And what that does, it, it's a macro, so it implies it's getting the big debris out of the canal. So what happens is this is connected as well to the office high vac, and what it does is simply uh, takes the bigger components left over from the cleaning and shaping uh, process and, and drop it into the uh, office high vac as well. Now the third major component is the, uh, the, the endovac micro cannula, and that is connected through the, uh, the handpiece, and believe it or not, there's 12 micro holes at the bottom of this. And what the dentist does is that they put it at the very end of the root canal, and what that does is it takes irrigant from the chamber, brings it down the root canal system into the 12 holes, and up again into the office high back. Are there any studies you'd like to tell us about? Well, there's really too many studies to talk about right here. Uh, and we have a lot of studies that are going to be coming out in the 213 editions of the Journal of Endodontics that are really going to show the clear superiority of Endovac compared to the rest of the irrigation systems. But one study I would like to talk about was published in last year's Journal of Endodontics in September where Dr. Pedetis took 300 patients, he treated 300 patients with Endovac and two years post-treatment he brought them back, did, a, did an exam, looked at the x-rays, had a couple of different observers look at them as well and determine whether or not they had healed. What he found is that in one single visit appointment he got 97 percent success rate. Very, very excellent. That's a paradigm shift for many dentists. Most dentists will do infected necrotic cases in two uh, treatments. They'll, they'll enter, uh, enter appointment, they will medicate with calcium hydroxide. What, what Dr. Predetis found is that by using Endovac, he was able to clean the canal so well that he didn't need, not, did not need to bring them back for that second appointment. So that's a huge paradigm shift for most dentists. Absolutely. And what are things that people can take away? What are the two most important things they need to know? Well, I think most importantly with Endovac, you get excellent cleaning with absolute safety. With Endovac, instead of forcing the irrigant down into the canal, it actually suctions it up from the bottom up. We call it negative apical pressure, which is simply a fancy term for suction at the very end of the root canal. And what happens, like I described before, is it takes, takes the irrigant from the chamber, brings it down the canal into the 12 little micro holes in the, in the micro cannula here, and then takes it off through the IVAC system. Where can people go to find out more? Well, the best place to go is to uh, is go to uh, cybronendo.com. Uh, this product is now being sold through distribution, so dealers also have it, so you can ask them 
as well. We do many hands-on courses. We do a lots of shows like this at the uh, at the Chicago Midwinter, where at booth uh, 300, 3600, I believe it is. And uh, we do a lots of hands-on courses. So if they go to our cyberonendo.com, they can see our schedule of hands-on courses. All right, Stephen, thank you so much today. And thank you for watching us here at dentistrytoday.com.